Hey guys, Oscar Combs here with the ISO 9001 group. And in today's episode of the ISO show, we're going to talk about tape measures. You know, these tape measures. Um, do we need to calibrate tape measures? Some people think that it's ridiculous to even have a conversation about calibrating tape measures, but this has been a, a debate controversy over the last 29 years that, that I've been in the business. And what we need to realize is that a tape measure is a measuring device and it needs to read properly. So the question is, do we need to calibrate or verify our tape measures? Let's talk about it. All right, guys, so let, let's talk about, do we need to calibrate our tape measure? You know, this little tape measure, this one here I'm holding is a Stanley 25 foot um, tape measure. You know, handy little device that we often use at home. We use it in our businesses and we make a lot of decisions. We don't even think about it sometimes, how many decisions that we use, um, that we base our decisions on based upon the use of the tape measure. And this is just a simple manual, you know, little, little tape measure that we, you may have in your drawer, you may have them at home. You, you may have, of course, you have them at your um, businesses and your production facilities. But, you know, if you just even think about using a tape measure at home, you know, I, I recently had to measure the square footage in my in my kitchen, right? Because we're, we're looking at getting some, some new tiles. So I had to, to measure the square footage. I also had to measure the size of, of, of our TV screen, our, our, our TV screen, because, you know, we were looking at uh, reconfiguring some things, right? And so I even had to measure a closet door the other day because we're, we're trying to change out the door to a different type of door. So I had to, to do some measurements. Now, the other day I had a contractor come by my home and he was using one of these uh, tape measures. And you know, if you pull out the tape measure, of course you have this little um, strip here. Now, the, all the, the numbers and everything, of course, are thermally printed onto this little thin strip of, of metal here. Now, the contractor, all of this part, that thermal print was actually falling off and it was literally falling off the tape, um, off, off the little metal part. And he was uh, measuring some trying to measure square footage in, in a closet. And I'm like, hey man, I, I can't rely on your tape measure because it's not, probably not reading properly, you know? So we should be able to have confidence in our readings from our, our tape measure, right? Because when, especially in organizations, they use tape measures, you know, I'm, for, for me at home, that could save me hundreds in material costs. That could save me in, in labor costs. Definitely could save time, right? Because sometimes if you don't measure right, you gotta go back and purchase more material. If you, if you don't measure it right, you, you may over purchase material. And so then you're basically wasting, wasting money. Now in your companies, tape measures are used for more critical things. I mean, I consider those things pretty critical even at home, but maybe at your facility, you're measuring things like maybe the length of a pipe, for example. Um, it could be a, a length of a, of a cable, the width of something, maybe the width of a, of a structure, Maybe the, the, the height 
um, of, a, of a space, trying to determine clearance or if something can fit. Maybe you're trying to measure the overall square footage like I was doing at, at my home. So this small little device, it's a measuring device, tape measure. We often take it for granted. Oh, we're just gonna get a little reference measurement or things of this nature, but those reference measurements, people end up using them to make major decisions. This little tape measure is responsible for many critical decisions organizations make on a daily basis to determine, we, we use this tape measure to determine maybe safety issues, um, fit and function of, of equipment or different products that we're manufacturing or fabricating. Come on guys, this, let's, let's think about it. This little, this one here I think cost me about $20. This little $20 device. How many times have you guys used a tape measure and you had to scrap scrap something because it wasn't measured properly? This this little device, and you, you may be working on a, a, a piece of material that costs thousands of dollars, and this $21 uh, measuring device, you have to scrap that expensive material because somebody measured it wrong, or you had to rework something. Now, when you have to rework something, that's more time, more effort, more costly. Now, think about it. This is important. <laughs> we, we can't take this, oh, because oh, let's just tape measure. You know, let's just take it for granted. No, we can't do that, guys. That's why it's, it's important to have tape measures to make sure that your tape measure is reading properly or measuring properly. All right, so why would you need to verify a tape measure, right? Because this tape measure, you know, it looks in, like to be in good shape. I mean, yeah, it is in good shape because I take care of my tape measure, but, in a, in, and I, I don't use it as much as someone would that's working with a tape measure every day. You know, like in your companies, you, you're using a tape measure hundreds of times per day. So, and many people are using tape measures. They're, they're dropping the tape measure. They're um, leaving it exposed to extreme heats and temperatures, humidities and, and whatnot. So, you know, this, this little part of the tape measure, this little blade here, it can become warped. It can stretch. You know, you can you can stretch this, right? As I mentioned, even with the contractor, these these letters can come off. That little thermal printed strip can come off of of the metal. It could just become worn down, right? And all of these things can impact the accuracy of the readings that we're trying to measure. Now, so here's the question. Can we calibrate a tape measure? Can you calibrate a tape measure? Now, if you have a digital, so they have digital forms of this, right? And that was pretty cool. Um, we had a contractor come out, use his digital tape measure, and it's much quicker, more precise and everything. But now if you have those, yes, you do need to get that calibrated. But our focus, we're just talking about this manual um, tape measure. So in my opinion, this tape measure cannot be calibrated. So that's kind of the whole controversy. Can you calibrate a tape measure? I don't think you can calibrate a tape measure because a tape measure um, cannot be adjusted. And that's what calibration means. So calibration means that if this was not reading properly, I could adjust it. But the more adjusting that you try to do with something like this, you end up doing more damage, right? Have you guys ever 
bent something and you try to bend it back in place and, and you just end up warping it more. It's kind of like the same thing here when it comes to a tape measure. Now, a good tape measure, this, this tape measure cost me about, like I say, 20 something dollars. A good tape measure is going to cost you between 15 to 30 dollars. You know, you can um, compare that when you go shopping and things of that nature. But if you if you had to throw away a hundred or so tape measures, right? Because some companies they just said, "Man, I'm, I'm, we're not worried about calibrating tape measures. We're not. We don't want our certification body coming in here trying to write us up on not calibrating tape measures." So they just throw them all away. And they just get new tape measures. A lot of companies do that. But before you throw away all of your tape measures, I want to talk to you about how to verify your tape measure. Okay, so let's talk about verifying your tape measure, guys. Um, now, in ISO 9001 2015, clause 7.1.5.2, it requires calibration or verification or both. And it's, it's referring to any monitoring and measuring device. And we talked about this is a measuring device, although very simple, but we I've explained that we make a lot of major decisions on this very basic measuring device. Now, why do we need to verify the tape measure? Well, because as I mentioned, it becomes damaged over time, could be warped. So every time we use it, we want to verify that it's reading properly. Now, maybe not every time, but you know, a certain frequency, maybe uh, once a week or, or so, you want to verify your tape measure or if you drop it or you, you think it, it it um, was exposed to some type of, of damage, you would want to verify your tape measure. Any piece of equipment that you're using to monitor, uh, measure, anything, it needs to be verified before you use it. So there's no difference between a, a, a tape measure or a caliper that you need to verify that that caliper is reading properly. You need to verify that your, your tape measure is reading properly. So when you determine through the verification process that something is not reading properly, then you need to calibrate it, right? That's when something needs to be calibrated. A lot of people are over calibrating. Calibrating um, equipment that's actually already in calibration, but just by default, They've just gotten into this routine of just calibrating everything once a year when they really all they need to do is verify that it's reading properly. And if it's reading properly within the tolerance, you don't need to calibrate it, but you just need to record that it's been verified. Who verified it? How you verified it? When did you verify it? What were the readings when you verified it? So make and ensure those readings were within the manufacturer's tolerance. So the same thing with your tape measure. Now, when you verify something, you need to have a reference standard, a certified reference standard traceable to NIST. NIST stands for the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Now you can purchase a, a NIST gauge, for example, um, that is certified so that you can verify that your tape measure is reading properly. You can go purchase a NIST traceable certified gauge block. Um, it'll have a serial number. Um, it'll be traceable to the master that, you know, that, that it was measured against. So that way, when you want to verify that your tape measure is reading properly, you just use that certified gauge block and you measure it. If it's a four inch, for example, gauge block, you can measure it and verify that it's reading four inches. So that would be an example of how you would verify your tape measure. 
So as I mentioned, no, I do not believe you cannot calibrate a tape measure, but you can verify a tape measure. And then once you verify that it's not reading properly, then you can throw it away and just go buy your new one, right? So all, all of you that are out there that are just trashing your good tape measures and throwing them away every year because you're like, man, I got rolled up last year because I didn't calibrate my tape measure. Well, you got rolled up because you didn't verify your tape measure and you did not document your verification process and the readings and you didn't have a like a standard block, a certified gauge to verify your tape measure against. That's what you got rolled up for. If you had that, you wouldn't need to throw away your tape measure. Now, some of you already have these gauge blocks, right? You use it for other things to, to verify other things. You can use those same gauge blocks and verify your tape measures as opposed to throwing them away. So before you throw them all away, guys, maybe look at purchasing you one of those blocks. Now, where can you purchase one, uh, one of these certified blocks? There's an organization called LixerTools.com. That's L-I-X-E-R-T-O-O-L-S dot com, right? You can go there, check out their website. They have all kind of information about um, verification tools and calibration tools for tape measures, all right? So I would be interested in knowing how do you guys currently calibrate your tape measure. Remember, you can't calibrate it. But how do you verify your tape measure? Or do you guys say, man, we're not worried about all of that. Let's just throw them all out. Let's go get new tape measures every year. Maybe you maybe you guys are in that group and, and you could be wasting a lot of money. So guys, hopefully you found this video helpful. It's a topic that I run across a lot in the consulting um, business. It impacts a lot of companies. So hopefully I've been able to give you some clarification on the difference and on, on calibrating a tape measure versus, versus verifying a tape measure is reading properly. And hopefully um, you will implement a verification program and save you some money and, and not throwing all those tape measures away every year. So give me a comment and let me know your thoughts on the subject how you guys do your uh, manage your tape measures in your company. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button to our channel so that you get the latest episodes of the ISO show. Leave a comment, like and share. Share this with somebody. You know, there's a lot of people that really need to know about this topic and they're depending on you to share that information with them. All right, so until next time, Oscar Combs here with the ISO 9001 group, helping organizations improve their operations and reduce their risk. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye now.